cauliflower is part of the cabbage family. They, it is the whitest of the vegetables in the cabbage family, and it looks only like itself. It doesn't come close to anything else. Most people think of broccoli and cauliflower as partners, and they are. They're both part of the cabbage family. But ah, oh, you can also get it not just fresh. Let me show you down here. You're gonna have broccoli frozen. And when you get broccoli frozen, it's all chopped up, it's all ready to go, and you just put it in the pan. Un you don't thaw it, you just put it in frozen. And then you can also get it in a lot of frozen packages with other vegetables. This one's a stir fry set, but there's a lot of different ones. It is one of those vegetables that's easy to add to a lot of the frozen entrees that they are making now. And they also come in the steamer packs, you know, like by themselves in steamer, and also with other vegetables. And then on the shelf, you can get the cauliflower pickled with other vegetables. Uh, this is delicious. It has the carrots and it's got onions and cauliflower. So, but let's worry about the fresh cauliflower today. Now, this cauliflower seems really heavy, and when you buy it, it should be heavy for its size. And you'll notice how closely everything is really tight together. It's real hard for me to pull any part apart. So now, the hard part is getting into it. So, you want to start upside down. And this is the stem. It goes into the core, and it's really difficult to work with. So, you need a long, sharp knife and you go in and cut this off and you cut underneath the florets, the florets I think they're called, and you get this off and it's sometimes very difficult, like right now. I'm having trouble doing this. I find breaking off the branches makes it easier. For one thing, you can see where the florets are. And so you just keep going around until you get all the way around. And then you pull this off. And that is your stem. And there's not much you can do with this. It is so woody that it's hard to eat. So we don't usually eat that. So now I pull off the next layers of leaves. And I can see the florets. Can you see those in there? So now I take my little sharp knife and I cut off the floret. And you can see them in there, down inside. Oops, didn't get quite through it. And there's one. There's a little ball. It looks like, kind of like a little mini cauliflower, cauliflower. So that's what you want to get to. Now, the main, there's three ways to eat cauliflower. There's raw, there's steamed, and there's boiled. Or the other thing is to add it to other, other dishes that you're making. So I'm going to cut off a couple of these florets. And I'm going to show you how to steam them and boil them. The other thing is the ones that are at the base are usually bigger than the ones at the top. They get smaller. And you've got to cut them off this core that they stick out of because it's not edible. It's really tough. So for the smaller ones, the smaller ones I like to steam because it's really easy. Um, the other ones I like to boil and of course I do like to eat it raw. So if you're gonna eat them raw, I'm gonna smooth this over here. If you're gonna eat them raw, this is a good way to serve them because people just pick it up and eat it. You can have a dip there for them to dip it in. Ranch dressing is always good. Now, the nutritional value of cauliflower is mainly some vitamin C. It doesn't have a lot, but it's got a lot of fiber. So now, if you want to, you just cut these in half and they show the whole side of the cauliflower. And these I'm going to boil for you. I'm not going to have them raw today. I'm going to boil them. So I'm going to cut these in half. These are so big I'm doing it into quarters. You want them to end up being kind of the same size so they'll cook in about the same time. So let me get this. I've already got some water boiling. and I'm going to lower these into the water. And it'll take eh, about 15 minutes after it's come back, maybe 10. The one thing you don't want to do with broth, with the cauliflower is that if you cook it too long, it starts turning dark. 
you want it to stay white. Now, you could add vinegar or milk uh, or some lemon juice to keep it white, but what I like to do is just not cook it too much. Now, the other way to do it is to steam it. And so I've got my little guys here all lined up, and I want them to all be kind of the same size so they'll steam at the same time. So I'm cutting these in half. Oops. Cutting this one in half. I also think it lets the steam get inside because see on the inside you can actually see holes for steam to go into and out here there's not much hole for the ones to go into. So what I do for steaming is I just place them on the steaming colander I have here and I just put them on with a lid. And I've got that right here. I've got water in the bottom and I'm steaming these. These end up taking about the same amount of time. The one thing is these won't have a lot of water on them and these will have a lot of water on them. But it just depends on what you prefer to taste like. Um, cauliflower is very nutritious and it's one of those vegetables that's one of our winter vegetables. Um, and so it's most prominently available during between September, maybe March. And then after that we do get to have them the rest of the year. I want to show you the inside of a cauliflower and now that I've gotten it this uh, small I can do that. I want to cut and show you the slice right through it and this is what it looks like and we are cutting off these little guys. This is the core that we don't eat. Um, you just cut them off and you're left with your core to, to, to toss away. Uh, some people like to eat the leaves that are on the cauliflower, but you only eat the part out here that you can pull off. You don't eat the middle. So I hope you'll go to my website. I've got a lot of information about cauliflower. You know, I always feel like that a lot of people are either cauliflower eaters or they're broccoli eaters, but we need to be both. Um, and I've got information about some dips to use. A lot of people put cheese on cauliflower, which is absolutely delicious. And I've got some other ways to eat it raw and also how to put it on the grill.